God, shit. Why would you do that? I, I didn't want it anymore. It was not for me. And yes, I haven't changed out of this in 40 days. I just bought it and I just haven't changed out of it because it's freaking dope. Isn't it dope, Rob? Am I on there? No, yeah, you are right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was before <laughs> I grew my beard out. And then Noah. And where, yeah, where, where are you with me? No way. Oh, right there. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they did a good job on that one. Hold on. Yeah, but it's not as dope as Rob's new tattoo. New vid, new tat. That's just how I'm doing it from now on. Uh, new upload. Wait, what the? Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> wait, pause. Are they really on your sweater? What? What? Them. No. Oh, they're not? <laughs> I pointed at the black guy. When I said, oh, it's Noah. Um, I seen a comment there like, I'll give Noah the N-word pass or something like that. <laughs> There's a TikTok about me that said, God, white guys get the N-word pass. And like, they put me in there. So we're here with Pee Pee. Hello. Morning live. I'll never forget that. <laughs> the mic is on this time, guys. I promise. Okay, good. We had a vlog a while ago that nobody watched, which you guys need to watch right now, where all of us went to a crystal store. That's an underrated video. Might have been one of the best videos we made. For the skit today, I told Pee Pee to bring some crystals that she has. They. Sorry. Ooh. I can't call you Pee Pee? No, they. You said she. Ooh. You know that that's gonna, we'll cut that things out. Okay. <laughs> So in our vlog, here's what happened. I'm gonna tell you the story. Uh, okay. Um, what happened was, went to this crystal store, had a fun time. We bought a bunch of crystals, all different types. Did of you these. really? Yes. Wow. It was fun. It was. I was like, you know what? Like I be hating on it and shit, but I was like, you know what? I'm having a blast right now. Congrats. And I was like, I see why it's fun. I see why people get into it. So. Fun. I, I bought these. Is it fun? It's like spiritual beliefs. It's a lifestyle, Ryan. Yes. It's not fun, it's not a hobby. I mean, it is fun sometimes when you use them in certain ways, but I mean like, it's, it's you know. What does that mean? So anyway, <laughs> so here's what happened. So I bought these rocks, whatever. One of them, it was called Moldavite. Does that ring a bell? Don't look at me like you that. Got some? Yes, well I did. I don't have any more. What did you do with it? I gifted it to somebody. Why would you do that? Okay, don't scare me. Why would you give that to someone? Why? Well, who did you give it to? A good friend who wanted them. A good friend? Yeah. You being a bad friend. I bought it. Everyone was, I didn't feel no special, nothing happened to me. Well, if you didn't buy it for the intention of you, then of course you're not gonna feel it. If you're buying it for yourself, then you'll feel it, but. Well, I just Initially it was for you. Initially, yeah. It was for me. Everyone who goes on my Instagram story replying to it, bro, don't mess with that one. Why'd you get that one? That one's gonna fuck. And I was like, yo, yo, yo. Everyone started scaring me, replying to my DMs. So uh, you were scared and you gave it to somebody else. That sounds even worse. Yes. What am I? Oh my God. Because then I was like, I said, you know what? I want no parts of this. Everyone's talking about some. And I said, what's gonna happen? Some kid replies, you'll see. <laughs> Like, I was like, no, 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 we're not, we're not playing that. As skeptical as I was, I was like, I ain't playing with this. What do I do, throw them away? They said, no, you can't throw them away. I said, what the fuck? How did I get out of this? They said you could like bury it or something or gift it to somebody. So you I, are not shit. Why would you do that? I, I didn't want it anymore. It was not for me. What's wrong with that? You <laughs> just stressing me out right now. What happens when you bought the rocks, but you kept them in the wrap and haven't took them out of the bag yet? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still active. Okay, I was thinking, I don't know if it went through the plastic okay. or not. Can you please not scare me? Because I'm actually scared. No, Moldavite, it's just like first things to shift in your life. Some of them are necessarily good, you know, like some shifts you may not want. It just does stuff that you may feel like you're not ready for, like ruin relationships. So nothing too scary, right? Because people talking about some, you'll see. I don't know, because I seen on TikTok this one girl got Moldavite and like she got it because like she's really struggling money wise, yada, yada, yada. And then boom, parents gone, they died. And then she got their will. So I feel like, what the fuck? I feel like that's a really fucked up way of getting some money. But shit, I mean. Well, you get what you want, gone. but at a cost. It's not even like that either, bro. Oh, it just, it just, I don't know. It just like shifts things for you. Cause I got Moldavite and then a bitch put a curse on me. So I just don't fuck with Moldavite anymore, period. So I'm good now, right? Like I'm. Yeah, you're straight. I just, I just feel like you're a shitty friend for giving that to that. Well, he's been good, right? I hope so. The friend we gave 
give it to? What are the chances that they don't actually do anything and it's confirmation bias where if you're told this is gonna do a change in your life and then anything that happens, you're like, oh, that must have been the mold of No, no. No? And I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. So I just recently did a spell and it worked. So, and I know it worked because it was a specific spell. Oh. So yeah. Oh, well then it's foolproof then. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I can't tell you what the spell was because it's gonna make me look crazy. Okay. So. Can you teach us how to do spells? Yeah. <laughs> are you serious? Are you, yeah. are you down for it? We can do that? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, oh, we need to be at Take a seat, Rob. Oh, she said we gotta be at her house. But I can teach you how to manifest with crystals. I do want to manifest good things. I don't want no of that negative hoopla. I just want positive things to happen to me. Yeah, well, if you only put out positivity, that's what you will receive if you put out negativity. Have you been putting out positivity? Love you. Lo ah! Love you. It's Much love. <laughs> say something if you guys see my lash coming up don't fucking say it in the comments because leave me the fuck alone i did them in the car while driving don't do that and drive it's bad don't do that but I did. yeah but like i feel more safe drive, like self-driving on the freeway rather than city streets because yeah, that's, that's just like mm, no it's giving anxiety um what was in the thing the little capsule oh i really don't know what's written in here it might not be nothing but i used like when i was in like seventh grade eighth grade i bought these and the reason i bought them actually was because we were doing secret santa at my school so i was gonna write everyone's name in there for like my dance team close them up give them out right so i thought that was such a cute idea like these little capsules and my dance teacher was like no it's glorifying drugs throw them away i'm like bitch you suck like it's literally paper inside but i could understand but i was like whatever fuck you and i just think she didn't like me to be honest and that's fine, because I didn't like her either. Before we get into the video that we're gonna film, she was not. So I'm so. I'm gonna just not speak. <laughs> just dress her as pee pee. You literally yes. just said her again. So before we get into filming the skit, <laughs> which they. Which pee pee was kind enough to come over and help us with, you were talking about manifesting. Yeah. And recently I just started getting into that fan off. Yeah, did you pull? Oh, no, no, no. Don't turn the fan off. Okay. okay. I will overheat and have a hot. Flesh. So you guys will literally sit here and have anxiety. You did a little it's just an intuition, like oh, okay. just an intuition. Just get more comfortable. Shrug. It just means that when I shrug, I feel like it means that like, good things are coming. Yeah. We're over here. <laughs> <laughs> you hear these things about manifesting and positive thinking and it brings a, a pro about your dream life and whatnot. There's this thing called the law of attraction, which you know, mm -hmm. not to ramble on here, but if I have a picture of a, like, let's say a bodybuilder ripped person all around me and I'm like, this is the law of attraction. If I keep these images around me, I'll be more likely to look like that as opposed to if I didn't have it. That's what I thought the law of attraction was like. I personally think you're just playing on insecurities by doing that. But I feel like your insecurities is what's gonna make you that. Cause I feel like with looking at it all around, I cannot be on TikTok for too long because I see bitches with a one inch waist and fucking thick thighs. And I'm like, bitch, like my parents did it in the wrong position or something like. How, and this is for the viewers, the people at home struggling, trying to accomplish their dreams, manifesting, well, what is that? Well, how do people manifest their goals, their dream life from your perspective? What do you do? Act like it already happened. Happened. That's how I do it. So like for my way of manifesting, I write in my journal, I write in it in French, and I write like from the future, kind of. You said French? Yeah. Why French? I don't know, bro. Because one day, I had a diary, and the diary has a lock on it. And I was like, let me dabble in this. And I was like, I'm trying to force myself to learn French, because my, my dad's side of the family speaks it. Mm. And it's like, I love them to death. But like, you know anywhere you're, you're at, and they're speaking a different language, you just automatically assume that they're talking about you, bro. Because like, we all speak English, in here why are we using a different language so i was like let me force myself to learn french so i was like let me just write in the diary in french then because i'm like fuck it and it's one way to like start forcing myself and like i was watching tv in french so i wrote like a whole diary entry in french i was complaining about one of my problems and then my problem was fixed after like i locked the journal so i just took that as my new form of manifesting i'm like maybe the french is on to something now how you learn how to write in french that quick i took a year of french in school google translate Je m'appelle Ronnie. Oui, oui. oui. <laughs> I grew up around French speaking people, so it's like you it's easier it. for me to catch on, yeah. Because I took French in high school too, but all I did in that class was paint my nails and not pay attention. Okay, so they ain't got to speak another language. French tips. Okay. <laughs> 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 um. I didn't. 
took me a minute to catch on, but the nails, yeah, makes sense. Acting as though it already has happened. Mm -hmm. Anything else like that people can immediately go and do right now to try to well, help I mean, their dream life? It, I mean, if like it's if money's your problem, you should go get some green adventuring or some I don't know what it's called. I just had it in my head. But anyways, I use this crystal to like manifest money and then. I use this crystal, not even to manifest love, just really to manifest self-love, because self-love is important. Mm. I use this for protection all the time. It's like protection, like energy, or use that to like- Y'all energy is bad, my crystal just broke. Well, you did just set it down, they kind of hit each other. So my, my energy's <laughs> good. Time to go, time to pack up. I'm just kidding, guys. Oh, <laughs> no, we should end the vlog there. So, uh, <laughs> Wish, hopefully we can make it back. <laughs> She's like, the crystal, bro. So I just had. Ryan, you know that I'm trying. PB said, crystal just broke. One of y'all's energies is off. Who is it? It ain't me. I haven't touched the sofa, though. Ooh, your hands were all over before, the sofa. Moving it before, moments before. <laughs> My energy's great. Long story short, if the people don't have crystals and they want to manifest, how can they do it? Write journaling. Yeah, or like. Listen to music with positivity and like, for example, when I know that I am gonna go somewhere and I wanna be the boss's bitch in that cl like place, like wherever I'm at, I listen to Love Game by Lady Gaga and I just perform that shit in the mirror. Mm. I just be really going in like, oh, that song is so good. I love that song. Mm. Free my for Lady Gaga even though she don't need it.